Hi y'all, it is Regina from Marsh Knitting 101. Welcome in my yarning and crafty friends. Welcome in my new family members and returning family members. Hope you all are having a wonderful and blessed day. It is Tuesday, December the 13th. Wow, it's already the 13th of December. This month has flew in by. How many of you guys have got your Christmas stuff done? I'm slow at it. I'm getting there. I'm a procrastinator, and I'll probably have it all done the week before Christmas, which is next week. I do got my tree up. I do got my lights up. But, yeah. So, what is all in your guys' coffee? Ooh, I got coffee in my coffee cup. <laughs> so, you are all probably here wondering, what do I have in my box? What, what am I going to be making for a bag of day? aka Crystal from Bago Day was winning someone to knit. She had these two beautiful Afghans and I was lucky and so glad that I was picked to knit one of these beautiful Afghans for Crystal. So I already looked inside because I was checking out the pattern to make sure I had everything like needle wise and stuff. Well then it needed a 36. So then I realized oh I need to either bust out my baby blanket or because the other ones were my temperature blanket. I can't really bust that out because the month's not over yet and I'm like months behind on that. But that's another story. So I was like, hmm, this gives me an excuse to order some needles. This is a Christmas present to myself. So I ordered from Knit Fix um, the interchangeable needles. I already opened them up because I want to make sure they fit because I have the, sh I ordered the shorty needles so then I got seven of these for like eight bucks so that's a pretty good deal for like a dollar sixty a piece so I got size 60 47 and I got the color green because it's the color of my needles seven and this is 40 inch the 32 inch and 24. Now, I didn't get the 36 inch, so I got the 40 cent, the 40 cent, it's the 40 inch one because I like to have a little wiggle room so my stitches don't fall off or a disaster happen. So I got these. So if you guys are not used to using nitpicks, I recommend them. Save you up some money to buy a nice set of needles. These are interchangeable ones, so these are really nice. This is my first time actually using changeable needles. I did get some earlier before, but they were cheaper, and that's a whole nother story too. But you guys are probably all here not wanting to hear me blab 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 about changeable cables. <laughs> you guys probably want to see what's inside the box, huh? Well, I am so excited, and let's just say it is so beautiful, and the colors she picked are so bag a day. Okay. So, are y'all ready to see what's inside my box? Are you ready? And once again, I would like to thank Miss Crystal for bag a day, Crystal, for giving me the opportunity. So y'all ready to see? I already, like I said, I opened it. I'm trying to get the glare off. Can you guys see it? Is it too glaring? It's a little glary. It is so beautiful. I don't like it reminds me of the like the western like blankets from back in the day. Look at that, that is so gorgeous. So this kit is from Mary Maxim. And this one was the second runner up, second place winner for design by and I apologize. I think her name is Barb Murray. And I will show you guys a picture of look how gorgeous this is. Look at the details in this pattern. They are so cute. I like the dark bars here. I'm sure they have a name, but. So yeah, and this is who it's by. So yes, this is the pattern and it's from Mary Max and it is. I think it's still on there. I haven't looked for a while. So yeah, 
I'm all excited. And this, in the color she picked, was the, this is sand dune. So it is a brown flaky. It is natural alpaca. It is approximately 262 yards, 77% acrylic, 20% alpaca. And I'll let you guys look in case you guys want to follow or make one yourself. But these colors are so pretty and it's soft. Sorry, I'm just rubbing my face on your yarn. <laughs> And it's got the flakes, like some browns and blacks, and then the second color is, this is Mary Maxim's Best Value Premier Aquilic, 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 <laughs> it is Oh, this is a medium four, and this is a medium four, too. Or is it a five? Medium, yeah, it's a medium four, which to me looks like a two, in a way, if you guys can see. It doesn't look like a four. So it is approximately three, 342 yards. Six ounces, 170 grams, and it's 100% acrylic. And the color is dark charcoal. So these two colors is what the Atkin color will be made with. Look at that! That is so cute. I am so excited to get this casted on. I will probably cast it on this weekend. Now, I was wondering, do you guys want to watch me like do little parts of it, or do you just want me to show it? As I do, like, whenever I do, like, my Whip Wednesdays, or do you guys want me to do, like, post a picture of my progress, or do you guys want to wait and for it to be a surprise? Leave me a comment down below and what you all think I should do. Because I am so excited, and I am so, like, so ready to cast this on, because I think this is going to be definitely a one-of-a-kind napkin. And I apologize, Crystal. There will probably be some here of mine in. Made with love. <laughs> so there is the pattern. So what did y'all think? Leave me a comment down below. And what do you guys think of the colors? I think the colors are beautiful. I'm excited. I'm so excited. So hopefully you all enjoy join me on my journey of knitting a Atkins for Crystal. And if you guys don't know who Bag of Day is, I will leave her link in the description box below. She does yarn unboxings, yarn hauls, I guess is what you guys call them. Um, she does a, she's been doing a lot of mystery boxes. Um, she does giveaways, she does tutorials, she crochets, and she's such a delight lady. And hopefully y'all enjoy me knitting this. I am so excited. Sorry. I'm just like, blah, 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 blah. Um, hopefully you guys will, if I have any questions or if I need any help with the pattern, it looks pretty simple. So hopefully give me a thumbs up for that. Woohoo! I am ready to get this baby started. Um, like I said, do you guys want me to do like a section, like as I'm knitting, like how would you guys want me to present it to you? Do you want me to do like little bits and pieces? Or just show it like when I get progress, like on my whip Wednesdays or whenever I upload my object, like my whips and finished objects and stuff. So I just don't know. I do have an Instagram account, so I will be posting like pictures of it on there and do little videos. So if you don't have me on your Instagram account, I will leave my uh, name in the description box below too. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I have. I've got off the detail and whoo! <laughs> so, I think I will leave it as that because this is like my eighth time recording because I just start talking about like I am now to get distracted. So, 
I will let y'all go. So until next time, have a wonderful and blessed day and rock yarn. Bye y'all.